डियर फ्रेंड्स दिस इज योर राज शेखर फ्रॉम अवर साई वेदा दिल सुख नगर कोचिंग सेंटर अंदर की तेलो एडबल्यू एग्जाम डेट इच्छा हू आर् प्रिपेरिंग फर् दस्ट एवर एडबल्यू की प्रिपेर वाल की टेक्निकल तो टेक्निकल वेरी इंपारटे सर टेक्निकल 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 फॉर 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 यू पीपल नो दैट की की एवरी क्वेश्चन मार्क्स सर सो बी इनको फ्यू डेज लो इनको 15 20 डेज लो मतलब इनको गुड न्यूज़ कोड़ा भी तो अच्छा सर में भी देयर इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी टू रिलीज टीएस जेन को आल्सो टीएस जेन को रिलीज आवर आदि कोड़ा पॉसिबिलिटी सुना है सर अरे इनका इफ यू आर लकी मोस्टली ऑफ 15 20 डेज तो नहीं मतलब भी तो चुआ गुड न्यूज़ कोड़ा ओके सो सिंसियर का प्रिपेयर होते हैं औरों इफ यू वांट ऑनलाइन कोचिंग ऑनलाइन कोचिंग फॉर ये ही ए डबल ई एंड पॉल टेक्निक लेक्चरर्स ये ही ए डबल ई पॉल टेक्निक लेक्चरर्स ये नवर साइन में था साइन में था गेट मोबाइल एप्स मे मोबाइल गूगल प्ले स्टोर लो साइन में था गेट मोबाइल एप उन तो दिसर आ साइन में था गेट मोबाइल � For A E A W E and Paul Technic lecturers, that is actually twenty five thousand sir. But now the offer just at fifteen thousand rupees up to one year. For one year, fifteen thousand rupees only sir. Who are preparing? Are already coaching this kind of one? Into the ground they prepare a one year to new one. You can utilize this. Chala baar matam sir. If you utilize this. You will have a more clarity on your subjects by excellent faculty of Sai Veda. You can you can learn many things from this online classes even. Okay, don't waste your time. I need A W E Polytechnic lectures so utilization of electrical energy is the most important topic. Last time class so illumination so our topic when we discuss just now how they will ask you numerical questions. In our illumination. Now, the numerical questions on traction, electric traction, by now, numerical questions are allowed. Go to. And then, generally, there is a possibility to ask two types of numerical questions. One question from, like, a, for example, this is my train movement. This is my train movement. Our time velocity curve, our time speed curve, the time speed curve of the train, the area under the time speed curve gives us, the area under the time speed curve gives us area nothing but mostly the x-axis into y-axis, nothing but velocity into time. The area under the time velocity curve gives us the distance traveled by the train. The distance traveled by the train is nothing but area under the time speed curve. Area nothing but something x-axis into y-axis. Nothing but in x-axis we have a time in seconds. In y-axis we have a velocity. In kilometers per hour, so the distance is equal to velocity into time. Velocity nothing but in terms of kilometers per hour, kilometers per hour. But the time in seconds here. But what I want, I want the distance in kilometers. To get the distance in kilometers, we need to. Multiply or divide it this time with the three thousand six hundred. Then the seconds are the seconds are converted into the seconds are converted into hours. 
seconds by 3600. Seconds divided by 3600, nothing but hours, then hours, hours gets cancelled. Nothing but simply to get the distance in kilometers, we need to divide the time with 3600. We need to divide the time with 3600. This is what the exact equation. So from this I want velocity. Velocity V is equals to distance into 3600 by time. The velocity is equal to distance into 3600 by time. So the average velocity is equal to average velocity is equal to distance into 3600 by run time. Distance into 3600 by run time. If they ask you scheduling velocity, distance into 3600 by scheduling time. What is scheduling time? The scheduling time nothing but I am going to schedule how much time I have to run, how much time I have to stop. So scheduling time nothing but run time plus stop time. Run time plus stop time. So Scheduling velocity is equal to distance into 3600 by scheduling time. These are very, very, very important. They may ask you numerical questions on this. Right? And another possibility of numerical questions on tractive force. Tractive force FT. Based on that, they may ask you question. And from that, especially they will ask you, what is the power output of the traction motor? The power output of the traction motor. Generally, the power output nothing but rate of work done. Right? So, rate of work done nothing but work done by time. Work done by time. Work done nothing but force that is the tractive force into displacement by time the time is there in the denominator work done nothing but force into displacement but we know that displacement by time displacement by time nothing but velocity so so force into velocity of course, here time is there. For that purpose, I am dividing with 3600. So the power output is equal to force, that is tractive force into velocity by 3600 kilowatts. This is the, the power output equation. Based on this, they are asking the numerical questions or theory questions on electric traction for example i will give you one question for this you have to give me the answer okay for example a train travel a distance of 8 kilometers a train travel a distance of 8 kilometers with an average velocity of 24 kilometers per hour with an average velocity of 24 kilometers per hour and it's a stop time and it's a stop time 200 seconds. And it's a stop time 200 seconds. Then, can you tell me the scheduling velocity of my train? Can you tell me the scheduling velocity of my train? What is that? The distance traveled by the train 8 kilometers with an average velocity of 24 kilometers per hour. And it's a stop time 200 seconds. I want scheduling velocity. Please calculate and give me answer as a comment. Calculate and give me answer as a comment. Like a level of questions they are asking. For this, for example, I have a tram car. I have a tram car. Which having four DC series motors. Four DC series motors. Which are developing, which are developing 
18,000 newtons of tractive force. 18,000 newtons of tractive force each motor which are which are operating in parallel which are operating in parallel with velocity of with velocity of 50 kilometers per hour they given the average velocity of the motors 50 kilometers per hour and they given individual tractive force 18,000 newtons then calculate the power output of the each motor. The power output of the each motor. 18,000 and velocity and 3,600. Substitute and give the answer. Right sir? Yes, are you following or not guys? So, on electric traction, in electric traction, they may ask you numerical questions from this. Like a, from the velocity point of view and the tractive force or output point of view. These are the previously asked questions in various competitive examinations. So, please do the answer and give me as a comment. Right? I hope everyone got the answer right. So, like that, electrical, uh, electrical energy, the utilization of electrical energy very important for assistant executive engineers and pole technique lecturers guys. Thank you. If you have interest, if you want to online coaching or offline coaching, please feel free to contact our Sai Veda number 9494941234. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, guys.